more latest asteroid news, NASA tracks a swarm of celestial rocks hurtling past Earth today at 31,000 miles an hour. Well, we know lately they've told us, the astronomers have told us that it's usual that asteroids come in in binaries or in groups and they never come in alone. So this is something new that we've learned. They're never alone. An asteroid swarm of four large space rocks will be shooting past our Earth today and they're estimated to have speeds at 31,300 miles an hour. This is according to NASA's Asteroid Tracker, confirming an asteroid tracks asteroids and uh, they're flying towards our Earth on close approach trajectories. They predict the asteroids will arrive within hours of each other today, Saturday, October 26th. The first of the asteroids made its appearance about 7.25 a.m. UTC time, about 6.30 in the morning. And what do we know about NASA tracked asteroids? Well, first of all, they're trying to catch everything over 300 feet wide in diameter. It doesn't mean that they do. One recent celestial body was tracked, found, discovered by an uh, amateur astronomer who built his own telescope and he found the interstellar comet, the second one in three years. The first one was in 2017, that was the Umuamua, and this second one was found by a young astronomer in Crimea, and uh, that one is called Borisov, it took his name. From what the astronomers tell us, we are to expect many more interstellar comets, because there seems to be a planetary system at the edge of our solar system which is spewing out these interstellar comets, and they will be coming at us more often. That's frightening in my book. But anyway, this has to do with what we have in our celestial, in our solar system, asteroids, and NASA is tracking, trying to track everything over 300 feet, and it doesn't mean that it tracks everything, but it's trying to. Now, NASA classified the four asteroids as near-Earth objects. Near-Earth objects, NEOs, are comets and asteroids, meteors, whatever, celestial bodies trapped in the inner circles of our solar system. And NASA says some asteroids and comets follow orbital paths that take them much closer to the Sun, and therefore our Earth, much closer than usual. If a comet or asteroid's approach brings it to within 1.3 astronomical units of the Sun, then we call it a near-Earth object. Bodies like NASA and the European Space Agency keep a watchful eye on objects such as these. Now there are four asteroids that could strike Earth in the future. Uh, now, for example, uh, the one that is the biggest probability of uh, one in 625 is 140 meters in diameter. That's about 300, 400 feet across. And it's uh, asteroid 214 AG5, and it's coming at us at year 2040. But we have another one coming at us, the one that they used as an example when they had the asteroid um, mitigation exercise the drill that they had in, October, in August, sorry, in April. And they took the data as if it were the Apophis asteroid. The Apophis asteroid will be coming at us 2068. It's 370 meters in diameter, probability 1 in 150,000. 370 meters, that's about 1,200 uh, feet across. Then we have the other one, the, in 2000, the year 2027, asteroid 2014 J025. That's even bigger, that's 650 meters in diameter, it's about 1,800, 2,000 feet across. Probability 1 in 8,300. And the one that's uh, 
they call it an asteroid, but it could be a minor planet, is Bennu, and it's been coming at us at the year 2182. It's 560 meters in diameter, it's about 1,800 feet across, probability 1 in 1,000. Now, um, Bennu, we have the uh, asteroid missions going to that to get samples in order to find out if we can, at one point, somehow push it off its trajectory. But anyway, they have plans to have Earth protection plans form from asteroid impact. I don't know how successful that will be, but we'll see. They have to do something, because it's just a matter of time. They estimate that we get bombarded every 100,000 years. So bodies, uh, uh, agencies like NASA and European Sta uh, Space Agency do track these types of objects. Asteroid 2019U05, the first asteroid to approach Earth today. NASA was first made aware of this thing just a few days ago. Are you ready? They discovered this October 19th of this year. That's like a, not even a week ago. Well, yeah, it's a week ago. NASA discovered this thing a week ago. The Space Agency estimates the asteroid measures in the range of about 65.6 feet across, which is about 20 meters to 45 meters across. And uh, the asteroid made its approach around 6.30 UTC time, 6.30 England time in the morning. And according to NASA orbital calculations, the asteroid flew by at speeds of about 37,944 kilometers per hour. That's 23,577 miles per hour. Its closest asteroid U05 came to Earth from a distance of 4.5 million miles. And then we have asteroid 219 UD2. That one was spotted only October 20th of this year. It's amazing. How few days ago they found them. And let's say they were coming at us. I mean, would they be able to stop them in such short notice of discovering them? That's the big question. And what would they do? Anyway, the smallest asteroid is estimated to measure about 20, uh, 40, 42 feet uh, to 95 feet across. The asteroid also hurtling through space at speeds of about 17,246 miles an hour and at its closest UD2 will approach Earth will approach Earth from a distance of 2.89 million miles so that's closer to us than the other one was. The flyby will take place about 4.30 UTC so as I'm talking to you now it should be coming by us. Okay and then we have asteroid 219 TH94 that's the next visitor to come at us. It's the fastest of the four asteroids. It's coming at us at 31,361 miles an hour. And NASA estimates that TH-94 is about 105 feet to 233 feet across. NASA experts say that the asteroid uh, to close in on Earth it will be around 4.45 UTC, which is about, just about 15 minutes after the previous one. Asteroid TH-94 was first observed October 9th of this year. Then we have asteroid 219 UU5. That's the final of the four. It arrived just 10, minute, 10 minutes after TH-94, known as asteroid 219 UU5. That one was first observed three days ago. Let me laugh. <laughs> Thank God they found them. This is ridiculous. I'm so, you know, I'm so frightened because these people, okay, let's say you found them and let's say they're bigger than, and let's say they were coming in at a, uh, not a direct hit, but like a, to chip, to clip, us. let's say they're going to clip, it would clip us, you know. <laughs> what would you do about that? I mean, there's absolutely nothing you can do when you find it so late on, and we don't even have, I don't even know if we have the technology to blow these things to pieces, and even if you blow them to pieces, with what? With some kind of a, a nuke, and then the pieces come, 
nuking at you back on earth. I mean, that's frightening. Frightening. Anyway, this one here, discovered three days ago on October 23rd. Asteroid UU5 is flying towards us. It speeds around 28,884 kilos, 16,083 miles an hour. And NASA says that this asteroid measures about 75 to 167 feet across. So this asteroid will approach Earth from a distance of 3.6 million miles. So um, the last of them will be coming in today in about within about an hour's time. So that's the news about these four asteroids. They were discovered just a few days ago. And um, 3 million miles away, I mean, I don't know if that's a very comfortable distance because they're small. Remember what happened with that asteroid on July 25th? That one was about 40 feet across. And uh, it was supposed to be sailing into the wild black yonder space beyond our moon. And uh, it didn't. It came careening into the Caribbean Ocean. I told you this a few times before. And that's when the astronomers came out saying it must have had the Yarkovsky effect on it. The Yarkovsky effect is when the sun's rays heat on to the uh, surface of the asteroid causing it to somehow have a temperature differential on its poor little surface and it tumbles as if something had hit it because of the temperature difference and it tumbles on its axis and that's what happened to that asteroid on July 25th it came careening into the Caribbean Ocean because it got out of its trajectory and came into Earth and thank goodness it didn't fall on any land any city because it wouldn't be bad it fell into the Caribbean Ocean into the sea uh, and that's when the astronomers came out explaining the Yarkovsky effect to us. Otherwise, I wouldn't even know it existed. Anyway, so these are going to be hopefully safely going by. and They don't have any Yarkovsky effects on them uh, tumbling into our Earth again because they are small. They're not big. And the Yarkovsky effect usually has more of an effect on the smaller asteroids and the bigger ones. I'll leave a link below for you for this. This is on Express UK by... Uh, Sebastian Ketley. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, and not certainly on, not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.